Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. Is there ever going to be a safe and effective pill to burn fat and live longer? Dr. David Sinclair thinks there is and is excited to be invested in it. Researchers from Virginia Tech recently received a 2.2 million grant from the NIH to advance the study of small fat burning molecules. In this study, Virginia Tech is working with Continuum Biosciences, which is a subsidiary of Life Biosciences, a company co-founded by Dr. Sinclair. Rather than looking at obesity overall, the grant appears to be more specifically to look at liver condition called NASH. The liver is a key organ of the body and performs many functions and is quite resilient. But it can get build-ups of fat and become inflamed. This condition is called non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or NASH, which involves inflammation, fat accumulation and scarring. This disease affects around 30 million people in the US, and there is no FDA-approved drug for it at the moment. So the grant will allow Professor Santos, who leads the lab at Virginia Tech, to further his research with mitochondrial uncouplers, which are small, fat-burning molecules that can be used to treat NASH. With the grant, Dr. Santos will be able to take his prototype molecules and create and test derivatives. What do we know about the prototype molecules? Professor Santos's lab announced the identification of BAM15, which is a mitochondrial uncoupler that showed decreases in body fat mass of mice without affecting food intake or increasing body temperature. Additionally, it decreased insulin resistance and had beneficial effects on oxidative stress and inflammation. One of the issues they did have with BAM15 was its short half-life, how long it remains in the body, as this restricts how long it will work for. In May 2020, they published a paper on the molecule in Nature Communications. Let's have a look at the paper. This is the paper. Mitochondrial uncoupler BAM15 reverses diet-induced obesity and insulin resistance in mice. The purpose of the study was to target obesity with a pill by decreasing caloric efficiency by mitochondrial uncoupling. They showed that BAM15 was orally available, increases nutrient oxidation and decreases body fat mass without altering food intake, lean body mass, body temperature or markers of toxicity. The molecule decreased liver fat, inflammatory fats and had a strongly antioxidant effect. The data shows that the drug had powerful anti-obesity and insulin sensitizing effects without compromising lean mass or food intake. So what is mitochondrial uncoupler? This diagram shows the general process of mitochondrial uncoupling and is not specific to this study. UCP1 is a natural uncoupler that exists in mammals. The mitochondria generate most of our energy and they do this through the citric acid cycle which is also called the Krebs cycle. This cycle uses metabolites from sugar and fats to generate high energy electrons. These go into the respiratory chain or the electron transport chain. The respiratory chain uses these electrons to take hydrogen ions which are basically protons and move them outside the mitochondria in a membrane thus creating an electrical gradient across the membrane. This gradient is used by the ATP synthase protein to make ATP. The molecules which we use for energy throughout our body. What a mitochondrial uncoupler does is provide another path for the protons to cross the membrane without going through the ATP synthase and not generating ATP. So the process is burning food without generating ATP and so increasing mitochondrial respiration. One of the purposes of natural uncouplers is to generate heat, for example in hibernating mammals which may be why they specifically mentioned that the body temperature did not increase in the mouse trials. Virginia Tech is working with Continuum Biosciences. They see this class of drugs as being used for more than obesity and NASH, as the molecules can minimize oxidative stress and ultimately neurodegeneration and aging. Dr. Santos says that the ROS and inflammation-based diseases of aging could benefit from mitochondrial uncouplers. 
About 40% of adults in the US are obese and 13% of the global population. Obesity has impact on many other health outcomes and exercise and diet regimens are difficult for people to stick to. This seems like a great way to really help reduce the number of obese adults and improve world health. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.